Hi everyone, I'm Shane Stevenson, Director of Museum Collections and Curator here at the Buffalo Naval Park. And I have on my Eclipse glasses. Looking up, we are about four minutes away probably from totality. Get a nice little sliver. Unfortunately, we had two beautiful days in Buffalo, Saturday and Sunday. Today, it's really overcast, so can't really see it. We have a lot of people here, but it is just a little sliver. So the moon was coming from, say, the southeast moving across and so the sliver that's left is the upper left of the sun. Uh, I am standing on top of the missile house, all right? And so I will give you a little brief overview of that to keep it kind of naval related. So we have the aft superstructure leading all the way up to the SPS 30 dish, all right? Communications, uh, tracking, intelligence, radar for the Talos missile. It is getting dark here. Strike down hatch. All right. When they were in port, they would crane them on, or even underway replenishments. They would do uh, bring Talos missiles on. This hatch would open. They would be lowered. The strike down elevator would come from uh, the missile house itself. The missile would be loaded, lowered, and then this was the stowage area. Oh, there it is. There you go, you see it a little bit maybe. Oh, nice. So maybe the clouds are actually kind of good. Wow, it's getting dark here. Wow. <laughs> so you'll see at canal side, we have uh, some people at canal side. All right, and we are about two minutes away from totality. And we also invited people for a one day pass onto the Little Rock. So we have a bunch of people here on the fantail. And actually, it looks a lot darker. How enjoyable is this? It looks a lot darker in person than it probably does on film. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, all the lights are coming on. And this was the strike down hatch for the nuclear warheads. All right, one on starboard, one on port. So when they were bringing nuclear warheads on board, that was the hatch that they brought them down on. And here's the other one over here. See our up and overs, our med lights came on. You could actually see, you could see how dark it is because you could see it on the deck. Wow, this is fabulous. Well, we don't need glasses now, but one minute away for, and look at the horizon. Again, in person, it's much, wow. So we have four minutes of totality here. Well, a helicopter goes by, but maybe you can hear people cheering. It looks like it's, wow. It looks like it's about eight o'clock at night here. Woo! And look at the horizon now. You can see like it's almost looks like a sunset. Where the clouds are not. Wow. This is amazing. I don't think I've ever, well, here you go. So everyone, this was darker than I expected. And um, 
even the lights came on on the missile house so you can see yeah you can see how dark it is and look at the horizon it looks like it's yeah dusk Well, I'm sorry we couldn't show you the full corona here at the Buffalo Naval Park. Um, but again, standing on top of the missile house, again, the strike down hatches uh, would be opened. The aft superstructure behind me. And then the main mast. Again, it is actually a lot darker. I think the camera is capturing light, but it is actually a lot darker here than it looks on camera. Our lights came on on the promenade. All right, along our walkway there. The birds went silent. And yeah, it looks like it's 8 o'clock at night. And I think so we have totality for four minutes. We're looking at maybe two more minutes. And then, wow. Again, the horizon. Amazing. Come on. There we go. So that's the cloud line right there. And it is silent here. Oh, the Buffalo Lighthouse came on. All right, everyone, I guess I won't say too much, but maybe I'll stay for a couple more minutes and see when the, uh, when the sun starts to reappear. And you can see it's, it's beginning to get a little brighter. The horizon went from the orangey kind of sunset to now just kind of going back to a grayish white, like milk. And the sky's coming back now. Wow. It's over. People are cheering. That was awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. I don't think I've ever lived through a totality before. Amazing. Look at that. And then in four minutes, it'll be like it never happened. And behind this hatch this door right here is weapons control all right I've done a video or two on weapons control all right I also take people there uh, as part of one of the curator tours so if you're ever here in Buffalo and uh, oh, the sun's coming. Well. So we had a nice long day of programming. We had uh, an American Legion post here, uh, a Native American Legion post. They talked about uh, Native American traditions uh, with eclipses. Uh, we gave tours. We had lunches for everybody. So we had about 300 people on board purchasing uh, special day passes for this event. Um, I gave a, a tour of the Croker 
you know, kind of a guided tour of the Croker. Uh, and we had a busy weekend. Uh, there's the blue sky. <laughs> oh, man. Amazing. Well, thanks for joining us, everyone. Uh, hope you enjoyed, and hopefully you were able to catch it live, uh, either in person somewhere else in the country, or, you know, obviously news stations were showing it all over. All over. So, uh, thanks again for your support. We appreciate all your likes, your views, subscribe, comment. I usually, as I always say, comment on almost everything that I can. And we will see you again soon, everybody. Thanks so much. Take care.